Hey guys, it's Numa Stacker and I'm back with you today for um, something just a little bit special. You'll have seen some things like this on the channel before, but I've never had one in which was in the original box with the COA and it's such an amazing set. Uh, well deserving of the bagpipe backing track that I used that uh, I recorded at home last week and uh, I just wanted to show you this set. This arrived for a friend of mine who asked me to bring it back to the UK for him, uh, delivered over to America. And it's quite interesting reading the COA, seeing how things have changed in this market over the last um, 89, 99, 25 years or so. Um, it's interesting. You can see the issue limits for the sovereign... Uh, 27,500, half sovereign, 25,000, double sovereign, 17,000. And there were 5,000 of these four coin proof sets, each of which contains a five sovereign proof coin as well. Does anything strike you as strange about that these days? Well, there were 10,000 of the new 2017 the numbers of collectors, the numbers of coins, the issues have gone way, way down over the years. I don't know whether that's because not as many people are collecting these things or they had a lot left over. You know, did they melt any? I don't know. What did they do with all these coins? These things change hands for very large amounts of money. And yet there are an awful lot of them. I understand with the sovereign um, Everyone collects sovereigns, and therefore the sovereign has a big have this particular sovereign. Uh, it's one of the special sovereign years. Um, everybody wants one of these. Anyone who doesn't have one would like one. So they're very special coin. They're you know, the 500th anniversary coin. Very special. Never been anything like it. There wasn't a bullion coin in this year. There are a few... BU five pound pieces. You've seen one of those a few weeks ago on the channel in the five sovereign comparison video. But um, they really are something pretty unique, very special. There are a lot of them around, but the prices are going up. I first bought one of these sovereigns maybe three years ago, and I paid £770 for it. I think I sold it for about £850, uh, and I now can't buy another one for under £1,000 or £1,100. So, you know, it's interesting that um, these, these and other specialist sovereigns seem to have been hardening in price considerably over the last two to three years. Uh, another example of sovereigns that seem to be doing very well at the moment, the 1937 proof sovereign seems to be doing very well. The 1911 proof sovereign is doing very well. Um, I think that there's probably a number of other examples. The 2012 sovereign special design has been doing very well. That's reached 700 to 750 pounds. Um, two years ago that was 450 to 500 pounds. So that's had quite a big appreciation I think in many ways, some of these special sovereigns uh, have appreciated more than standard everyday sovereigns. Some other examples, I think, are nice condition shield back sovereigns that uh, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, shield backs were available for only a very small premium. The premium on them, particularly if they're in MS condition or have a rare year, has gone up a lot. I've noticed they have been fetching big money, big money. Um, and I, I, it's hardly surprising because they're great historical coins. Uh, not surprised in any way. I mean, if I had enough money, I would like to be able to collect these five sovereign pieces. They have all the amazing impact. They're 40 grams of uh, pure gold. Um, what a great coin to collect. Um, unfortunately, most people can't afford to collect them, uh, or if they do, they have one. Um, but uh, wouldn't it be great to have a representative sample of these five sovereign pieces? 
but uh, one can but dream. Let me know what you guys think. Happy to be able to show you this four coin 1989 special year sovereign uh, 5000 mintage uh, and nice low COA. What a great buy and a, a great pickup by my friend on the Silver Forum. Thanks very much, guys, for watching.